Today in Handmade Science, I want to take another look at least used patterns that we can make with simple pendulums. Now, in the previous video, we recorded the patterns using sand. In today's video, I want to see if we can capture them digitally using light. So, let's get started. Now, here's my setup. It's fairly simple. I have a wooden bar that's supported on these two poles, and I can adjust these and raise them and lower them to whatever height I want. To support the camera, I simply took a very small, cheap tripod, and I've used a C-clamp to attach it to the board here. This will get the camera almost directly over the supports. Now, let's attach the camera. There we go. There's enough give in the tripod legs that I can adjust the camera to get the pendulum in the center of the picture. I have the camera set so I can adjust the shutter speed anywhere from about 30 seconds up to about 6 minutes. Next I'll need a light source. I could use these finger lights but they're a little bit big so I'm going to use some of the bulbs that I took out from some old ones. Here's one. And just to show you how small they are, here they are next to a penny and the two batteries that go with it. I'll use a little bit of tape to hold the batteries and wires together for the light. Here's one ready to go. I have red, green, blue, and white. I'll use a small weight for a bob, and I'm simply going to attach this light to it. A little bit of tape. Wrap it around. Attach it. There we go. Now, to keep the light from being too bright, I'm simply going to attach a little bit of extra tape to the top here. I'll use clear fishing line as a support string. That way it won't block the light as it's swinging around. We're set up, ready to go. Give it a little swing, and I hope you enjoy the results. To give it a little bit more color, I can add a second light to the bob. Just use a little bit more tape to hold it in place. Now let's go give this one a try. All right, now in this case, while the pendulum's moving around, I'm also going to be pulling up on the string. As I do this, what do you think the pattern will look like? All right, now I want to try a pendulum that has two different periods. The movement in this direction is a longer pendulum, so it's going to take more time, but its movement in this direction starts here, so it's a shorter pendulum, and that's going to take less time. So let's see what kind of patterns we get. I'll start with the upper V-string being very long, and then gradually make it shorter.
The upper and lower strings are now about the same length. As I continue to make that upper string shorter, the periods become closer to each other and the pattern becomes finer. Well, there it is. In the previous video, we captured some Lisa's use patterns using sand. In this case, we were able to capture them using a little light and a digital camera. And in a future video, I want to see if we can permanently record them in paint. So I want to thank you for stopping in and come back and see me again. All right, bye.